Dr. D.K. Mitra from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. I head the Department of Transplant Immunology and Immunogenetics there. So I came here with their invitation uh, from Bogomolets National Medical University and uh, to, for development of joint research project and exchange program for academia. And what I found is that uh, this is a very old, very historical university with a very good medical education facility and research facility. And I interacted here with their policy makers, their professors, and I found that very uh, good level of research and academic environment exists here. Uh, I personally is an immunologist trained in India and Stanford. I was in Stanford for several years and came back to my home country with a professorial job in All India Institute of Medical Sciences. And what I find is that there are enormous opportunity of a joint exchange program, academic exchange program, and also the research program with the, this historical university. I came to know about this university from one of my friends in the US. Uh, and I think physiology of this university has contributed significantly in medical sciences. There are many discovery, uh, discoveries uh, made here. And what I found is that this is a nice campus. People are very friendly, very cooperative, very cordial. And I have been given very nice uh, hospitality, um, an interactive opportunity. And I gave a talk, seminar. There are a lot of good interaction, scientific, especially in tuberculosis and uh, autoimmune diseases. So I believe this is a good university as the first medical university of our country. We would be very open and interested to work together uh, with Bogomolets National Medical University to develop further and strong tie up with this university. And that will I think be good for medical science and good for the medical education in both the countries. And once again, I'm very thankful to the authority, to the administration. I'm thankful to the rector, vice rectors, their dean uh, for inviting me here and uh, discussing about the possibility of future collaborations for which our director is also very open. In fact, he was supposed to come but because of some, some of his uh, administrative and personal re uh, pre uh, preoccupation, he could not come. So I hope this will lead to some active collaboration and one day we will be able to really officially develop the active collaborative understanding. Thank you very much. And last uh, so if you do any proteomic studies for the tuberculosis or any other kind of uh, disease, thank you. Yes, Dr. Andre. But I absolutely agree, proteomics, in fact, one of my scientists, she is very keen to do proteomics because she wants to see why there is weak immune response against MDRTB, MDR bacteria, do they make some protein which suppresses the immune system? So, so that's an interesting question. I have a question, Dr. Nita. How uh, National Medical University of can take part in the research program? So it, it depends basically on how we go about. We, I discussed with uh, distinguished uh, professors here, uh, Vice Director Mr. and uh, today I think he heads the research division. So if we can develop active research programs, especially the international research program, then exchange program between the faculty, residents. Uh, we have some exchange program with various U.S. universities uh, and we are going to develop that very soon. Actually, I, have, I am responsible for that with UC Davis and Stanford. Uh, so we, if we develop that with this university, there are chances of getting international uh, project pro grant proposal. And I think we can do that. But I don't know if it's a business pattern of this country.
So that we need to interact. Once we interact through some workshop or something that we have been discussing with your policy makers and administrator, if we can do that, probably that will identify the interested faculty match. So then they can take us off it with some amount of money. So in India we get from a good shop, coffee shop, one cup of coffee with that price. So it is three times cheaper. So I think it's a good uh, good place uh, so far, nutrition, food and other things are concerned. So my experience so far has been very good and I have a very cordial welcome from all of you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. After visiting the National Medical University of Bangladesh for the last few days, how do you find the facilities, infrastructure at the level of this university? Facility, so far education is concerned, I think your basic education facility is quite good. Infrastructure does not necessarily mean only instrument, right? It is the space, it is the opportunity, it is the teachers, human resource. So, uh, and I think today I got 3%, 1, 2, 3% and I have interacted with cardiology friend, uh, what is his name, I forgot, I think, uh, Valerian, right? So he left, but we discussed a lot about the uh, possibility. So he said, education was, I think it is a quite good university. Actually, uh, I came with the message that we are very open for uh, official level collaborations at various level to develop the interinstitutional active uh, working together and um, uh, let us hope that we will be able to do that in few weeks we will we'll start writing to each other group I think uh, that's the promise I got.